Oh, just opened my window for the first time in so long and there's so many spider webs. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Room 207, virtual edition. I am Ms. G, as some of you may already know. And welcome to what Room 207 is gonna look like for the foreseeable future. It's gonna look like my bedroom. It's just the same. It's the same as with the actual Room 207. Same. Got my chair and everything. It's the difference is that you guys can't try and sit in it before me when we get in the classroom. So how this is gonna work is it's basically a creative space for us to try and inspire you guys just and then you to inspire us back with what you make constantly surprising us in actual room 207 so virtual 207 is just the same thing sometimes it's going to be tutorials where i take you through a project step by step sometimes it's just going to be a prompt and i'm going to let you guys just do what you will with it and everybody's going to look completely different and then i'll show you what i did for that prompt for the day. Sometimes there's going to be thoughts of the day or like today's thought where I'll tell you guys what inspired me to do a project with you or just a thought that I would have regularly shared with you if we were all in the classroom together. And this is all for you. So if you want to do 20 of these, if you want to do 10, but you want to do them each like three times in different ways, if you want to do, you know, one here and one there on the days that you're bored and just keep coming back to see what else you might like, it doesn't matter. This is for you to be creative, to get thinking, maybe to stop thinking a little bit and just make something. It is all about what you need during these days. So today we are going to be making the poof balls that are hanging from the ceiling of my classroom. And today's thought is smiling every day. Thinking about something that makes you smile or even better yet, doing something that makes you smile. And it's gonna look different for every person and it's gonna look different every day. Like yesterday, it looked like me going outside and then later playing Mario Kart with my sister and me crushing her in it. That made me smile. But today it looks like me doing these videos with you guys and getting to interact with you again and uh the poof balls they make me think of the classroom they make me think of school and they make me think of the many times that you guys jump up and try and hit them even though you know you're not supposed to but i miss you so it still makes me smile <laughs> all right let's get started so what you're gonna want is a couple pieces of tissue paper scissors and a rubber band hello you're going to lay all the tissue paper out evenly on top of each other. Now, the order actually is important because on the bottom, you see I have my pink and I'm gonna put white on the top. Those are gonna be what are on each end of the poof ball and the stars are gonna be in the middle since I put that in the middle. I used five pieces, I gave up on that orange. But you guys can use as many as you want to or as few as you want to. Now I'm just gonna trim off the excess, but I can't do much about the white being too small. I am now going to be accordion folding this. Now that's an over under kind of thing. It gets a little tricky when you have a lot of tissue paper to begin with, but easier as you go along. So it's just over under in the exact size that you did before. So it gets easier once you start flipping it over and over and over and over. Now you're going to find the middle, so just squash it in half, find that middle. Then you're going to take either a rubber band or I would actually recommend either a pipe cleaner or a stapler and you're going to secure it there. Next, I always cut into a tip. I'm not going to show it to you because I was dumb when I was making the video. However, it makes great confetti. Then you're going to floof it out like a fan and you're going to take one end and you're going to floof it all the way to the center. Now the closer to the center you can get, the floofier that this is going to be. So take your time with it. It may rip. That's okay. You just want to get it to as close to the center and as separated as you can for maximum fluff. And then you're going to continue doing that with each of the layers.
<laughs> that was me messing up. I ripped it. Everybody rips, guys. It's tissue paper. It's fragile. It's gonna rip probably more than once. But uh, I'm really trying to take my time with it to pull it apart at those seams without ripping it. You know, it's it's gonna take a second. I usually try and peel away from the center too, so once I got to the stars, I started peeling the white away and then the purple, so that I had a nice half floof right there. And then I just uh, flip it on over and move to the other side. Some detail of me pulling apart, I grab that top, that pointy top, and I just pull each one out. Gonna fluff this bad boy out. It's okay if it doesn't look amazing right when you're finished. You got a fluffer, you got a floofer, you got a smoosher. And there you have your very own goofball. ball. And then you can attach a string to it right in here, fluff it again, and hang her up. Or bat it around like a beach ball like I know you all want to do with the ones hanging from my ceiling. Thanks guys for tuning in and hope you have fun with it. So in the comments, leave any appropriate remark that you might want to about, you know, what you thought of each video, what you thought of the project, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of, what projects you want us to do on here maybe. Send us videos of what you guys make, send us pictures, send us whatever, share your work with us. So I miss you guys and it's been super fun doing this and I can't wait to do another one. See you guys later.